Essentially, what do you want to do with your second, third chance at life? Nigga, I'm rapping, I'm stacking my money, and I'm fucking with all my day one niggas and all my young niggas, and I'm just trying to have fun, bro, with these bitches, with this money, nigga, and just, just turn up, bro. N shit niggas couldn't do when we was growing up. Like, niggas, money out here right now, so I'm trying to enjoy that shit with my dogs and my bros and shit, bro, and just motherfuckers that's loyal. You feel me? Even my square partners and shit, like, you feel me? Like, nigga just want to live and enjoy his life, bro, and fuck with his kid, bro. That's all the nigga really trying to do. But if a nigga try to be on some bullshit, like, I'm going to address that shit head on. I'm going to kill that shit dead the issue right there. Like, as far as it being an issue, like, I'm going to just kill the issue. I don't want to be beefing with no niggas and all that. So I be trying to have an understanding with motherfuckers. Yeah. But I say that to say I don't want to sound contradictive and trying to be like, Oh, this nigga rapping this and then he'll say this and that. Like, nah, niggas can't be no role model. It's just what I want to do, nigga. Show niggas you can have fun, bro. And you can get the fuck up out of here and get your money and come back when you want, bro. Like I said in the beginning, like, you don't got to be stuck up here or around here, bro. You feel me? I just got out four months ago. What'd you get out for? Pimping the panda. I had some hugs. Damn. So what's it called? You already did your time for it. You can talk about it, right? Yeah, I could touch the case closed. I did my time. What about it? So if you could get into... The pimping and shit, getting money on that aspect and shit like that. It was, I found another way to get money, nigga, and, and it made me more money than all the rest of the shit I was in the street doing. So I, I fell in love with that shit. What type of mindset you got to have to be a pimp? Shit, what well, the kind of mindset I had, you feel me, at the time was, you know what I mean, like, I don't know, bro, it's either in you or it ain't. Like, I could talk about this shit, but if you ain't never been in that shit, you ain't never had no hoes or a bitch ain't never paid a nigga, like, I could talk about that shit and they still wouldn't understand it, bro. So all I'm gonna say is the kind of mindset that you need to have in anything you're doing in life, bro, is just be a real motherfucker, bro. Be pure. You feel me? What I had then, I can't say it was that now, but it's just you gotta be you gotta be pure in your heart, my nigga. Have the right intentions. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like some niggas that have a bitch, bro, and just wanna use the bitch till she can't be used no more. Like when I was in the situation, it wasn't like that for me, bro. I was just trying to figure shit out in my life and shit, bro, and that shit just came to me, and I always had bitches, so, nigga, it just turned from shoes and clothes and shit like that, nigga, to just, I don't want no shoes and clothes, bitch, I just want all the money. Whatever you was gonna buy that shit, I want the money. That's all it turned to. How old were you when you first started pimping? Shit, when I first started pimping, shit, I was 23, or no, I was 24. Like, when I first, like, got heavy all day, every day, I was 24. How'd you even get into that? I was working at Sheik's, a bitch came in the store that bought sandals from me all the time. She asked me what I was doing after work. I got off work, she pulled up, me and my nigga Tobias, you feel me, bruh from 700. We was out in sack. The bitch, uh, she, bruh picked me up, we slid with the bitch, and uh, she bought some sandals that day. When I got in the whip, she gave me some money and was like, nigga, uh, you gonna be my daddy. Put you on game. Pretty much, yep, yeah, you could say that, yeah, for sure. You think you was even ready for that? I, I Like I say, I don't know what I'd be ready for, you know what I'm saying? I just try to stay ready as best as I can, but what I did was I just played it smart. So I knew that I didn't know shit, bro. So when I got in front of this bitch, I didn't really say too much or nothing. I just acted like I knew what the bitch was talking about, you feel me, when she started talking. Like, oh, yeah, that's what's up, okay, whoop, 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 whoop. Like, okay, yeah, all right, well, I don't want to take you over here because if I take you over here, it might fuck up what you been doing. I mean, let's go somewhere where you didn't already got money at. And I just le left it like that, bro. And I just sat the fuck back and shut the fuck up. And nigga, it, it been on every since. Then, cause like most people on the outside looking in, they don't even understand how a female or someone would even want to pimp and shit like that. You know. You said how they would want to what? How a female would even want to be pimped or something like that. Even give another it ain't nigga even, money it ain't even that. It's just people put labels on anything. Like you could put a label and a title on anything. It, it ain't that, bro. It's just two people fucking with it. They having an agreement. To, you feel me on how they gonna get their cheese, bro? Or the bitch was already doing this shit before a nigga met her, and she just she like bro, so she wanna pay his pockets. Like you feel me? Nigga ain't forcing this bitch no nothing, no nothing, bro. She's simply in love with this nigga mind, bro, and believe in his vision, bro, that he can get this money, bro, and flip it and do whatever the fuck he telling this bitch, bro. So it ain't ain't nobody forcing these hoes to do shit, bro. These bitches is, is paying niggas because they like niggas, bro. It ain't even no pimping. They just paying niggas because they like niggas at this point, bro. Niggas going to jail for that shit, bro. That's what's going on. How long were you down for? What? I got sentenced to 11 years and four months. I did five years. Mm. 
And they told you you was looking at 11 years and shit. What was I was looking at 38 head? years. I wasn't looking at 11 years. I took 11 on a deal. I was looking at 38 years. Damn. So what's the call? What was they all trying to hit you with? I got a pimp and pandering in human traffic for every bitch. I had 20 felonies, nigga. Two, I had two misdemeanors, nigga. 18 felonies, nigga. They gave me a pimp and pandering and human traffic for each bitch. And it was a minor on the case that nobody knew about. So, nigga, that was an additional life sentence with a sex registration and some more shit, nigga. You feel me? So that shit was for real. You was 28 at the time? Well, I was 27, bro. I don't be, nigga. I don't, when you do time, nigga, you don't even keep track of that shit no more, bro. I don't even don't worry about the day or the time no more. Being 27 and they was giving you football numbers and shit, what was going through your head? Nigga, I was scared, nigga. You feel me? I, Cause I knew I had bit off more than I could chew at that point cause I was expecting to do something and it turned into something else. Like I, I, I would always tell my BM like, bitch, I'm gonna end up doing like five years. You're gonna have to ride that, you my dog. Like, you feel me? And I'm doing this and I'm doing that. You feel me? You know, these hoes, they gonna leave and go pay another nigga if they can't pay the nigga they was paying, you feel me? And uh, when I got there, nigga, the deal was 15, nigga, or go to trial. For for 13 months, that was the deal until I went pro per and represented myself. And I got a better deal for 11 with, with no trafficking, no nothing, nigga, because I went in there and fought. Nigga, it was either fight, bro, or these niggas gonna roast you. All the females you was pimping and shit, you said they was like, they really liked you type shit. That's why they allowed it. Did any of them tell you on the case? They all told, but nobody showed up to try. They made statements to say they self and disappear, nigga, and I was stuck with the case. You feel me? Because what they did was they, I didn't go down for pimping, bro. I went down for vandalism. You feel me? I got grabbed for breaking the window, some other shit. Then, nigga, they came two days later, nigga, off some shit that a brother and his bitch went back to the station and told them, nigga. So they went to the room two days later, nigga, grabbed these bitches, come back and charge me with all these charges, nigga. Mind you, I'm sitting in, in jail for a vandalism waiting to get cited, nigga. So how I'm human trafficking and forcing bitches to do anything, these bitches been on their own for, for, uh, for two days. And then when they grab the bitches, the hoes tell the, tell the brothers, we waiting on a ride back from CL. So like with having hoes and stuff like that, you actually like and care about these women? Shit, I didn't met, I didn't met hoes that I cared about, that I liked. I didn't even met a couple of hoes I thought I loved, you feel me? But this shit, this shit, bro, I'm in this shit because this is where I'm accepted, bro. I'm in the streets because this is where I'm accepted. Nigga, his home was like my home, they home like our home, bro. All, you can put a title on all this shit, though. None of this shit matter. Everybody got issues in their head or at home. That's how the fuck you end up in the streets, bro. So them hoes ain't no different from me. You just get better bitches than other bitches, bro. That's all this shit be about. You feel me? And I only try try to keep a badass bitch, bro. I don't try to keep no bitch that I wouldn't like or wouldn't care about. The bitch could do shit to make you not like her and not care about her, but that's after you didn't gave the bitch an opportunity to prove herself. But no, nigga, I don't want to be around no bitch I don't like or care about. Did any of the females stick around? Nope, hell nah. Nigga, I was in there five years. I didn't get one visit, nigga. None of them hoes stuck around. Did you get any visits from your parents or anything? Nope, my mama on dope. I just told y'all, my daddy, that nigga, uh, come here. My, my daddy, that nigga, uh, he can't make it. He old, nigga. And I'm one of them niggas, like, I ain't about to call my pops, nigga. I'm a, I'm a man. I made these choices. Yeah, I'm hurting, nigga. But the last thing I want to do is call my daddy, nigga. That look weak. I don't feel like no man calling my daddy. Talk about how you said, because you said these was your choices and you admitted to that. You ain't yeah. telling nobody you did your time. Yeah, I told like them niggas I was rapping. I don't know nothing about no pimping. I don't know nothing about no hoes. Did you find something in my name or anything that got to do with me? So why y'all pressing me? They wasn't trying to hear that, bro. Gave me a million dollar bill with a hoe. Nigga, if I had a million dollars, I wouldn't have had no hoes, nigga. Shit like that. I was mad, bro, because I had a hit, nigga. Body bags was a hit, nigga. That shit went viral, nigga. And I'm sitting in jail and I'm running into all types of strangers. Like, bro, you the nigga from the video. You the nigga who, like, what you talking about? Yeah, bro, that shit slapping in the streets. I'm in jail, bro. I left when that shit was at 5,000 views. I didn't see no millions of nothing, nigga. I was fighting the case. Llama was the only nigga that stayed tapped in, nigga, the whole time. Bro, had money on the phone the whole time, nigga. And my cousin, Boar, nigga. Then was the only two niggas and, and, and my ex. And her mama, nigga, they had looked out too. But during the the real shit, during the county time, nigga, there was only three people I was dealing with. But accepting my choices, nigga, like it, it wasn't nothing else I could do, bro. I live by I, I live by these two things, bro. The first, nigga, you got to be loyalty. That's the that's the most important thing between a bond. Oh, in a bond, nigga, between two motherfuckers. And the second thing is when shit get hard, nigga, you could boss up or be weak. Them, them the only options. So, nigga, when I decided to accept that, nigga, it made my time easier to do. But that shit was hard as hell, bro.
Yeah, I don't know about niggas not fucking with each other no more or niggas beefing or nothing. Everybody up here brothers, nigga. If you ain't no brother up here, then you ain't really from up here, nigga. Brothers have differences, nigga. And at the end of the day, everybody don't see eye to eye. But it ain't no beef, bro. Beef is when you looking for a nigga, not waiting to bump into a nigga. So it ain't no beef up here. Niggas have disagreements all day. We brothers, nigga. We don't see eye to eye. And all of us may not be direct brothers. We might be brothers to another brother that we got mutual respect for, bro. And off that mutual respect, a nigga ain't gonna do nothing stupid to each other. You feel me? So it ain't no beef, nigga. It ain't no homies hate the homies. Ain't none of that, nigga. I don't support none of that. I ain't on no homie homie shit, but it's hella lines and shit that you talking about, nigga, that been crossed where it's like, nah, bro, we gonna keep it classy and respectful, and that's what niggas on, bro. All this other shit come from niggas on the outside that ain't on the inside, bro. As you see, nigga, we right here, bro. We, it, I'm, I'm right here. I could talk about this shit, bro, because I'm right here. These my niggas, I'm right here, I can talk about this shit all day long, bro, and ain't nobody gonna shut me up about it, you feel me? Like, straight like that, nigga, so that's just what it is, bro. Do you think, like, it's a way for the beef with your opposition and shit like that to be ended or calmed down? What opposition you talking about with, Just like, in general, we're not gonna just in general. Like, with, People oh, okay. like your neighborhood yeah. into it with. Yeah, like, neighborhoods and neighborhoods, projects and projects and shit like that. Yep. Shit, uh... You said it'd be ended? Nah, it all, that shit ain't never gonna end, nigga, because niggas out here trying to earn a name for they self, bro. You feel me? Like, like I told my one of my niggas, you feel me, today, that niggas be thinking niggas be beefing when me and these niggas be behind the, you know what I mean? We talk. But, like I told a nigga, bro, my name all I got, nigga, if I ain't have my name, I ain't know what the fuck would be going on with my life, bro, because this all I got to hold on to. This shit like A1 credit out here in these streets, nigga having a good name. You feel me? So, nigga, you don't want to do nothing to fuck that up. But at the same time, you got young niggas that understand that got a lot of older homies, nigga, that's telling them, like, nah, nigga, you got to earn that shit out here. Ain't nobody going to give you nothing, nigga. So if you ain't a dog about your name, nigga, and you ain't a dog about your respect, nigga, like, that shit ain't for nothing, bro. That shit ain't never going to stop. Niggas trying to earn their name out here, bro, any way they can. For some niggas, this all they got, bro. Doing the things you did to get by and shit like that, being in the streets, pimping, getting money, do you think it was worth it? Was it worth it? Hell yeah, because I got some game, nigga, that, that you can't get, nigga, without going through it. So, like, the shit I went through, I'm trying to make sure these niggas, well, I can't make sure niggas don't do shit, nigga, so scratch that. I'm trying to get these niggas some game, nigga, on how to try to avoid some of the shit that a nigga went through. Nigga, I'm going to say that much, because I can't make a nigga do nothing or tell a nigga shit, bro, but I could try to advise a nigga on how to avoid some shit, though, and that's what this shit about. And then and to anybody watching what's the call, let them know what come with this three shit. Pain, nigga. All this shit is pain, nigga. All the jury, all the money, nigga. All this shit, bro. I just told somebody that I love, bro. I'm about to have everything I want in this music shit, bro. And it don't mean shit, bro. I'm about to have everything I wanted, which was for me to make a way for me to help my people, the ones that I could help, nigga. But don't nothing come with this shit but pain, bro. And once you reach a certain level of pain, bro, it's gon' it's just gonna turn you into another nigga, bro. And you don't wanna be that nigga, bro, cause you ain't gonna be able to get back, bro. You gonna wanna love and know you can't and all types of shit, bro. Decisions that you gonna have to make as a man gonna get real hard versus if you wasn't in the streets, bro. And that shit get hard, bro. You feel me? And that shit come with a lot of pain, bro. You 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 got love for, you you love something that's living but you can't be by it and shit cause of you feel me choices you making and shit like bro this shit all pain bro all the jury all that shit all the money the houses cars bro it's all to cover up the pain bro or to have something to show for the pain bro that's what you get out this shit bro you get pain and nigga that shit you gonna get some good times nigga but they ain't gonna outweigh the bad times nigga so you gonna get pain with this shit bro.